but it was a, a caddy, Tommy Walsh, who lived behind the third tea box in the village in the uh, 20s and 30s, and he had goats. He used to let them out in the daytime, and he, he would bring them back in at night time. And when he passed away, the goats were left out on the golf course and remained out. And what really used to happen is, and still happens today, I know people think it's an old wives tale, it's not. When the goats are out on the course, um, which they are today, you can't see it from here, you're gonna have beautiful sunshine, which is just blinding me here at the moment. Uh, you're gonna have lovely weather. If they were around the clubhouse or hiding around the clubhouse, beware, because there was probably a rain or a storm coming in. Um, and it still holds today. In the 1960s, we had a barometer in the clubhouse and it broke and the secretary manager, famous secretary manager at the time, Brud Slattery, rather than getting it repaired, just opened it up and wrote sea goats. Uh, so the goats have been here, they're our emblem. Um, we have four at present out there, um, and uh, you probably saw on your way in to celebrate our 125 years of golf at La Hinge, we commissioned a bronze statuette of the rampant goat, which sits, it sits outside the club, and is a great selfie moment for all our visitors coming.